So this used to be uh, this used to be the old ferry terminal going over to PEI. Um, I do see some fishing boats, but I don't know if it's being used for anything anymore or not. I see an old lighthouse at the end. We'll have to go for a drive. But the cool part about boondocking along this road here is the backdrop. And you will see that very shortly. Well, as you can see guys, the old ferry terminal is in really bad shape. She's definitely seen better days. As you can see, uh, people are taking advantage of fishing, using it for fishing off of the old lighthouse. So this area is actually called Cape Tormentine. And it was actually the ferry system that used to be in operation from New Brunswick to PEI. And myself, I even did it. I called this a lighthouse, but it's actually not a lighthouse. It's a range finder. And how it worked is it was a taller structure, looks like a lighthouse, sits back. And then this one here was at the end of the pier. So what happened is on a, on a lighthouse, the lights flash where these ones these lights stayed on constantly so the captains when they're coming back into port for the ferries they would line up these two lights and that would bring them in safely into the harbor but they all were no longer in use once she closed down in 1997 once the uh, the bridge opened up and that's of course called the confederation bridge and i got a feeling probably in the next 15 to 20 years you won't be able to walk over here this will be all washed away. It stinks really bad in there. Yeah, no. Yep, I think this will do very nicely. So that's the Confederation Bridge behind me, guys, going over to Prince Edward Island. And this is uh, used to be the old ferry terminal. And so I'm just going to boondock here tonight, and then tomorrow drive on to PEI. Well guys, I just left that awesome boondocking spot. So if you're ever coming across from New Brunswick over to PEI, the Confederation Bridge, just go to the old uh, ferry terminal and there's tons of room to park overnight. There is a campground right beside it, but I mean, it's all packed and why? It's free. So it costs nothing to get to the island, but it costs to get off the island. So we're just heading across the bridge right now. So we got a, uh, it said 12.9 kilometers long or eight miles. And uh, so what happened is originally they were talking about building a bridge and there was a lot of flack from both sides. So they decided to have a vote on it. And I think 54% of the people said, yep, let's build a bridge. And I believe it opened in uh, 1997. And like I said, it's 12 and a half or 12.9 uh, kilometers long. So every time I, I see, like I see a bridge, I always think of the base. That that to me is is the most important thing. It's like, I, and I actually don't know how deep this uh, this channel is, but I always think about what kind of footings are on the bottom of these and stuff like that. I always that to me is the most important thing. Same as boats. I look at a boat and it's like, okay, that's nice. I want to see the engine room. <laughs> so yeah, I've always wondered about that. I'm sure there's a documentary out there on building this because obviously for the scale, I guarantee you there's something out there. But.
Well guys, welcome to PEI, Prince Edward Island. So the last time I was here, it was in 2017, and it's the same way. So we're just driving right past, and everybody there at the gates are paying to go back across. Um, it's more expensive to do the ferry, but the ferry is uh, that way quite a bit. So I'm just going to pay to come back on the ferry, which is going to be more money. 400 meters, turn left onto Dickey Road, Shore Road. But it doesn't matter. Okay guys, I was waiting for it to slow down here a little bit. There's been a lot of uh, people show up here, but uh, I was gonna put the drone out. The tides come in. This is now all buried. There was a guy out here walking along the shoreline doing rocks and stuff, but I can't even get to it now because it's all buried. And the wind's probably picked up about 30 kilometers an hour. So I don't think I'm putting the drone out tonight. Uh, maybe tomorrow morning when things quiet down, maybe it won't be so bad, but yeah, not right now. It's pretty, it's pretty windy right now, so. I think we're just going to sit here and enjoy the uh, the evening and maybe go get a hoodie because the, the temperature dropped. The wind picked up and the temperature dropped, so yeah, east coast. Okay guys, so I'm just sitting here, obviously I'm cooking some supper. This guy, the pickup truck pulls in and he's got like a square box in the back. You can tell it's an insulated box, so I stopped him. He goes, oh yeah, he says, I got uh, lobster and, you know, blah, blah, blah. And I said, all right, I'll get some lobster. He goes, well, I live just up the road. I'll go get some. And he says, I got some moonshine too. And I'm like, uh, I don't know about that. He goes, ah, bye. I'll be right back. So yeah, I'm not sure what's going to happen here. I probably won't record it because I don't want any uh, any proof of this uh, this evening. But anyways, yeah, so he's got lobster. I think it's 45 bucks. He's got like five lobsters or something like that in a bag for 45 bucks cheap anyways I'll let you know if I uh, well obviously if you watch this video I survived I was editing this video up to about 10 o'clock last night and I just got too damn tired to finish it. But uh, yeah, if, this is my um, voiceover mic. So if there's a spot on the video where I don't like the sound or I want to include something in the clip, I'll just do a voiceover and then insert it in the video. And just so you know, this, the uh, scene where I'm walking down the old uh, ferry dock and explaining about the, not the lighthouses, but the rangefinders, that was done on this mic here. So, just so you know, so a lot of times in a video, 
even though it sounds like I'm talking through the camera, I'm physically actually talking through this. So I wasn't quite sure where I was going to stop this video and when I was editing, I thought, you know what, this is as good a spot as I need to just uh, shut it down for this one. Um, where I'm heading next, I got a kind of an idea. I'm gonna head to over towards where the uh, ferry will go head back over to uh, New Brunswick. So I'm just, uh, basically I'm, I'm on the north end of the island right now and I'm just gonna be uh, heading west. And then back down south a little bit and then onto the ferry. So guys, that's gonna be it for this one. As always, be good, be kind, be careful. We'll see you down the road. Think it's time for me.